Lomax. Hi, come on in. Yes, hi. I'm Dr. Guillaume, what can I do for you today? Oh, I've got this really annoying headache and I um, don't know what it is, but just wanted some painkillers. Okay. Please. Okay. Could you tell me how this headache all started? Oh, well, I was at the gym. Right. And I mean, admit, admittedly, I haven't been to the gym for a long time and okay. I was doing some weights and running on the treadmill and I think the, the headache started around that time. Okay. And when were you at the gym? When, when was this exactly? About three days ago. Right. So you've had this headache now for three days, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And it's been days. constant, persistent? It has been. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't normally suffer from headaches, mm. but this headache is just quite strong and, okay. you know, it's just not shifted at all. That's why I thought I was just coming in to have it checked out. No, sure. So three days ago, this headache came on very suddenly, would you say? It was suddenly, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And did anything else happen at the time when the headache came on? Um, well, I, embarrassingly, I collapsed, actually, right. um, I was, I, I was doing some weight, mm. and I, I remember very clearly the headache started, mm. and then I just fell down. Right. And how long were you out for? I think at a few seconds or so, you okay. know. Okay, okay. And did anyone witness you actually sort of collapsing? Yeah, there were other people, you know, okay. working out, everyone was really concerned. Yes. And did they mention that when you'd passed out, uh, there was any jerking of your limbs no. or anything like that? Nothing at all? No. no. So when you came round, how, how did you feel at that point? I felt really sick. Right. Yeah. And were you actually sick? I, I vomited afterwards when I went home. Right. But I felt really sick. And I thought because I had a really heavy lunch before gym, so I thought maybe it was, it was related to that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask you a few more specific questions about the headache, if okay. that's all right. Where is the headache at the moment? It's at the back here. Okay. And has it shifted from that position at all in the last no, few days? No, no. It's, it's just stay there, constantly there. And you didn't hit the back of your head at all, as far as you recall? No. No. Any problems with your vision at all? No, I can see fine. Okay. Have you noticed that the headache's worse at any particular time of day? Morning, evening? Not really. Just there all the time. Mm, just okay. doesn't shift. Have you noticed the headache gets worse um, with any sort of particular position? If you're standing up or lying down? Maybe when I bend over. And, you know, this morning I was trying to put my boots on. Mm. You know, it just like, oh, it really hit me just this morning. Okay. And okay. you mentioned that you were sick. How many times actually have you been sick? Three times. When was the last time? Uh, this morning after breakfast. Right. Yeah. Okay. Have you had any problems with any recent infections at all? No, but I think I must have eaten something wrong, you know, at right. lunch, mm. before gym. Mm. I mean, this vomiting has been ongoing, really. I mean, you know, it's right. been three days now. Okay. So. Okay. Any fever at all? No. Okay. Any rash? No. Cough, cold? No. Nothing like that at all? No. Okay. And in terms of just what it's stopping you from doing, you mentioned it's quite Severe. Has it stopped you from doing anything at all? Well, I had to take half a day off yesterday. Right. And I can't afford to take any more time because I've got a really important presentation this afternoon. I see. That I really need to be there, so I just want some really, you know, something strong, strong. stronger than like, you know, the over-the-counter stuff. And what over-the-counter stuff have you taken so far? I tried Panadol, I tried Nurofen, yeah. didn't work. Nothing at all? At all, no. Okay. And what is it that you actually do? I'm a bank manager. I see. And has it stopped you doing anything else at all? Interfered with anything at home, for example? Well, I stopped going to the gym, um, but to be honest, this headache has pretty much put a pause in my life. I mean, you know, mm. I, I had to cancel my dinner last night, you know, oh. I took time off work, you know. I just tried to rest it out. Yes. But it didn't work. Yes. Okay. Now, I can see from the notes that you're an ex-smoker. Is that still the case? Yeah, that's right. I quit last year. Okay. Do you take any alcohol at all? No, I don't drink. And in terms of just regular medication, I can see you're on Marvel on the contraceptive pill. Yes. How long have you been on that for? Uh, 15 years. And you're 35 now, is that yeah. right? Any problems with Marvel on at all? No, but I, to be honest with you, I wonder if it may be related to the headache. Because right. I've got a friend at work okay. who's been on the same pill, yeah. and she's got migraine, and she had to stop the pill. So, so you thought possibly it might even be a migraine? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it sounds quite similar to what she's having. Okay. So. Okay. so just to recap now, three days ago, you were at the gym, mm. you were just doing some weight, yeah. and you suddenly got this headache. That's right. You, you actually blacked out for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, it's just been there. 
had a few episodes of sickness as well. Yes. Is that right? And you thought yeah. possibly it might be a migraine and possibly you might need something stronger. Yeah, yeah, definitely, right. please. Okay. okay. Well, I'm going to redress all of that for you, but before I do that, can I just quickly examine you, if that's all right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, if I could just take you behind the examination. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, I'm just going to have a quick feel of the back of your neck. Okay. Now, could you just put your chin down towards your chest for me? Oh, that... That's that, quite that sore, is, isn't yeah. it? Sorry about that. It's very stiff. Okay. I just want to have um, a good look into the back of your eyes. Okay. Thank you. We're just going to do your blood pressure as well. I'm just going to finish off by testing some of the nerves in your face and also the reflexes in your arms and your legs. That's great, thanks very much. Do pop on back. Thank you. Right, Miss Lomax, um, I mean, having examined you, having listened to the story, I know that you thought possibly, is this a migraine? Um, yeah. I have to admit, I really don't think that's, that's the case here. Oh, really? Yeah. Might be stress and... Well, it's really stressful at work okay. recently. No, I, I hear that. I mean, stress can certainly make headaches worse. But stress wouldn't usually cause a headache to come on suddenly like that. Okay. And usually with a migraine, a migraine would generally tend to present with a headache that's one-sided. Right. Um, it doesn't really sort of follow the pattern of your sort of headache. Okay. Now examining you today, there were a couple of things that I found a little bit concerning. Right. The first was your neck was very stiff as, as, yeah, as you saw. Yeah, really stiff. Um, and quite tender too. Mm. The other was that your blood pressure was on the high side today. It was 160 over 90. High? Mm. I've never had high blood pressure. No, it's well, always low. Sure. Well, that in itself, I think, is quite unusual, really. Mm, okay. Um, now, the fact that you actually collapsed, the fact that you actually blacked out when this headache came on three days ago, mm. makes me wonder if there's something else a bit more serious happening here. Really? Yeah. Now, I mean, I don't mm. mean to scare you by this, but... I think one of the things that's going through my head that I would want to make sure it isn't is is whether you've had possibly a small bleed at the back of the brain. No, I'm I'm, I'm sure I'm fine. I, I drove here, you know. Yeah. It's, I'm fine. I mean, it's just a headache. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I think the fact that you sort of managed to come in today, you've driven mm. in, you've walked in, those are all very positive, reassuring signs. Mm. But I think ultimately it's a headache that we do have to take quite seriously. I mean, you mentioned yourself, you've already had to cancel quite a few things. You've had to take a yes. bit of time off work. Um, mm. And I think the most important thing would be really to identify what exactly is going on. I mean, I, I appreciate you've got this very important presentation this afternoon. Yes. But I think simply giving you painkillers without necessarily knowing what's going on would not, would not really be the safest thing to do. So what do you suggest? Well, what I'm going to suggest is that I speak to the specialists now. Mm. I would really like you to be seen today at the oh, hospital. Okay. I think it's quite important that we look to even get something like a scan of your head today. Oh, okay. To make sure that we're not missing a, a small bleed. Right. I think if we can act on this early, mm. and if, even if it is a small bleed, there are so many things that we can do to, to get it right. I suppose, yeah, but so I have to cancel my meeting. I'm sorry about that, yeah, but I, oh. I really do think that would be the safest thing to do. Okay. Hmm. So what? I just need to go to hospital and well, scan. Well, I, 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 I'm going to suggest this. Let me speak to the specialist now. Right. If you take a seat in the waiting room, okay. we'll organise some transport for you so that you can get up to the hospital as soon as possible. I, okay. I don't think you should be driving until we get this sorted out. Oh, all right then. All right. Mm. When you've got to the hospital, okay, right. they will check you out. Now, you know, hopefully everything's going to be absolutely fine, in which case they'll just let you go home. All right? mm. But in the off chance that they do find something a little bit more serious, right. there are many things that we, could, we can do to get this right. Okay? So you don't think stronger painkillers would I, do I don't thing. think that's going to be the best way forward mm. um, at this okay. moment. I'm sorry about that. All right, then. It, okay, so let me speak to them now. Mm. Is that okay with you as a plan? Are, I will organise mm. the transport and we'll get you seen as soon as possible. Yeah, I think that sounds great. Yeah, okay. well, thank you so much, Doctor. No, that's OK. Mm. And obviously, after you have been seen, do, do let me know what the outcome is. All right? OK. OK. Just take a seat outside now and I will sort that out for you. OK, that's All brilliant. Right? Thank, thank you very much. All right. Thank you.